Yonder lies the open meadow where the setting sun leaves behind the shadows of a few souls who embellish their existence on this earth by virtue of their fine taste and creativity. This indomitable souls have been driven by their inner spirits, having braved all the odds to reach such heights. These people just dreamt and their dreams brought them to the threshold of a new movement which is 50 years young and still going strong. The clock of the Armenian church dangled in its usual way that morning. The hustling sound of the morning trams filled the city air. The smoke escaping through the mouth of the kettle greeted the regular customers at Raghuvabu's tea shop off Jonok Road. And amongst all these trivialities, the place at 7A Mysore Road was experiencing a youthful vigor. It was the year 1960 when the city of Kolkata gave birth to the first constructive artist group. This was long awaited. The group comprised of Shonat Kaur, Shamul Dutt Rai, Nikhil Bishash, Shomnath Hor, Bijon Chaudhuri, Prakash Karmokar, Sharbori Rai Chaudhuri, Orun Basu, Shukantu Basu, Anil Baron Shaha, Shoilen Mitru and others who actually belonged to two different groups called the Artist Circle and the Chitrangshu. The group was named by Shukantu Boshu as Society of Contemporary Artists. Obibushan Malik played a pivotal role in bringing together all these people and giving the group a constructive and positive energy. Shonut Kaur and Nikhil Bishash were given the posts of Joint Secretary while Onid Barun Shaha shouldered the responsibility of being the treasurer. The different trends in the Indian art scenario were on the verge of stability and independence. During this time, the Calcutta group in the East and the Bombay Progressive group in the West had come into existence. The European influence on the Indian artists was gradually fading into oblivion with the introduction of free and independent thinking, open discussions, exchange of ideas among the artists hailing from various places of India. The members of the society were well equipped with the basics of art and art practice. This enabled them to innovate and carry their work towards distinct directions. In course of time, as their work began to get acknowledged and praised, a certain homogeneity began to develop within the group itself. The society began to operate as a collective wherein all the practitioners contributed in the initiative of new thoughts and ideas. The first exhibition was held at Artistry House. Stalwarts like Shunil Dash, Shuhash Rai and Deepak Banerjee were part of this occasion. Apart from this, small-scale exhibitions of paintings took place at 7A Mysore Road. Soon, the first exhibition of prints of Shomnath Hor was also held here. Thus, the young and energetic movement embarked to a height of maturity. Simultaneously, efforts were being made to earn a living out of this fortitude. Gradually, society was feeding and shouldering more artists, overruling any geographic bias. The new inclusions at this juncture comprised of Ganesh Pine, Bikash Bhattacharji, Ajit Chakraborty, Amitabh Bandopadhyay, Dharmanayan Dashgupta, B. R. Panisar, Kamala Rai Chaudhuri, Uma Shiddhanto, Ganesh Halui, Madhav Bhattacharya, Lalu Prashad Shao, Shabosri Boshu, and Shushil Gupta. Others like Manu Parekh, Manu Rathor, Shudhir Ranjan Bhushan, P. Chandra Binod came here in search of a living 
and during their sojourn, they gave into the incomprehensible spirit of creativity that existed in this group. The society nurtured them too. In the meantime, the society had acquired a new address. Ajit Chakraborty's studio at 157B Lenin Sharoni became the society's new dwelling place. Ajit Chakraborty had brought some prints on his way back from Czechoslovakia. The members of the group were thrilled to see them. Incidentally, Jibon Shen also carried a printing machine all the way from Poland during this time. This gave the members of the society a chance to try their hands at printmaking. These new practices gave birth to new experiments in media. For the first time, India experienced an indigenous production of prints in such a scale, thanks to the society's initiatives. In course of time, the exhibitions organized by the society were also held abroad, along with national exhibitions. The recognition and praise inspired the group to deliver their best from time to time. Though many members left the group citing various excuses, the discipline remained unhindered. Gradually, many new faces adorned the group. The newcomers included Shadon Chakraborty, Manoj Dotto, Manoj Mitro, Aditya Boshak, Bimal Kundu, Shunil Kumar Dash, Shapon Kumar Dash, Manik Talukdar, Niranjan Pradhan, Ashok Bhomik, and Pradeep Moitro. Each of them had immense potential to carry forward the legacy that had once started 20 years back. Revealing the unknown, the society was heading towards success, leaving no stones unturned in order to establish itself. The society turned 25 and moved along with undeterred valor and energy. The path taken by the society, the dreams of its founders, and their proper implementation by its successors is unending and undisputed. The society now has a permanent address at the southern fringe of Kolkata, near Koshba. New artists have joined in, like Atim Boshak, Atunu Bhattacharjo, and Partho Dashgupto. The group has had its sad moments also. Many of its founders are no more in this world. But the care with which they have matured the society and nurtured it from its beginning still keeps the flame alive. The serenity and the depth of this flame of light reflects and leads forth the path for the present generation carrying the movement forward. Keeping aside all the controversies, crises and recurring problems, the urge still remains which propels the society forward. The flame, the sacred flame, purifies the souls and will do so for all the years to come. The clock atop Armenian church still resonates. The rhythmic metallic sound of the trams are on the verge of extinction. But the process of creation remains unending as the group still looks forward towards the future.